Welcome to the Mind Warrior Project. In this report, I'll share with you a discovery that you may not know about, something significant that will not only change everything we know about the universe, but also has the potential to unlock the power of unlimited energy, open a portal into other dimensions, journey throughout the galaxy, even travel through time. It's called the God Particle. It was just a theory up until 2012 when it was proven to exist. According to late physicist Stephen Hawking, unleashing its power could destroy the very universe itself. What is the God Particle? I'm Dane Spots. Let's find out. It used to be the stuff of science fiction writers and theoretical physicists, but no more. It's real. It's the most expensive and complex machine ever devised by mankind, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN in Switzerland, a 17-mile-long tunnel buried 300 feet beneath the ground near the city of Geneva. This tunnel is cooled to temperatures colder than deep space and fitted with thousands of huge magnets that accelerate particles to near the speed of light. It then smashes them together in order to break apart the nuclei to release the subatomic secrets of how the universe is constructed. By recreating the Big Bang to understand the forces that started the universe. What are these scientists hoping to achieve at CERN? For one, they're testing Einstein's famous theory E equals mc squared. And it turns out Einstein was right. They use the accelerator to create matter out of light. Light out of light, create dark matter, antimatter, and even microscopic black holes. Now they want to send matter back into the past, a kind of time machine. So what is the God particle? Scientists don't like that term. They call it the Higgs boson, named after scientist Peter Higgs, who first theorized it in 1964. It's an elementary subatomic particle that gives mass to matter. The theory is that this particle is the fuse that started the Big Bang. The universe, at least the universe that we live in, is like a giant bubble in space-time. The original explosion of matter from the Big Bang billions of years ago is still expanding. All the galaxies and stars within our bubble are expanding outward moving away from each other. And within our universe of universes that contain these bubbles, which may be infinite, is this God particle that got them all started. Okay, it's hard enough to get your mind around the idea that billions and billions of galaxies exist, let alone billions more of these bubble universes. The discovery of the God particle has opened the doorway to understanding creation itself. But is this entirely a good thing? Stephen Hawking didn't think so, and though recently deceased, he is arguably the greatest physicist of our time. What was he so concerned about? Well, the Hadron Collider is generating such unbelievable amounts of energy that there's a danger that cracking it open may inadvertently create a vacuum bubble. Essentially, he's saying that because the universe is fundamentally unstable with such tremendous energy released by this machine that space and time itself could collapse catastrophically through something called vacuum decay. Well, we haven't destroyed everything just yet, or you and I would not be here having this discussion. But the goal of the project is ambitious and, yes, no doubt dangerous. The director of the project, Rolf Hewer, has admitted that one of the key overall aims of CERN's Hadron Collider is to open a portal to another dimension. This is the reason they're so intent upon recreating the conditions of the so-called Big Bang. And it's the reason they've worked so hard to double the power output. They believe in the existence of parallel and alternative dimensions. Physics dictates that there's at least 11 of them. And they believe that by increasing the collider's power output and recreating these conditions, scientists can open a portal between the universes. In his comments, Hewer stated his reasons for wanting to open this portal. When we open the door, something might come through into our reality. Or we might send something through it into their reality. 
This is one of those really big ideas that even if it doesn't destroy the universe, it can change everything. Not just the technology we use in our everyday lives, but how we interact with the universe. But is the risk worth the reward? And what does this project mean for our world and our future? Here's my take. Knowledge is the key to understanding, and the pursuit of knowledge is fundamental. It's not only important, it's wired into us as being human. That's a good thing, perhaps one of our best traits as human beings. The possibilities with the discoveries being conducted at CERN are endless and will have far-reaching implications. But should we be cautious? Can this knowledge be used for evil? Well, of course it can. But that never stops the quest, and it certainly won't stop with this project. Generally speaking, all knowledge is benign. It's the application of it that can be used for good or evil. Nobel's discovery of dynamite is one such example, which is a useful tool, but can most certainly be used for evil. In fact, he felt so guilty about his discovery, it was his personal motivation for creating the Nobel Peace Prize. Just as it is with splitting of the atom that ushered in the nuclear age, knowledge has led to amazing things and capabilities, but also may come with it inherent dangers. This project, discovering and exploiting the God particle, is different than any other scientific quest ever attempted in human history. Because the very act of its discovery, which is creation itself, exposes the very engine that drives the universe. And the power generated is so tremendous that it could pop our bubble, so to speak. And then, with the destruction of our universe, create another bubbled universe out of it. In all of human history, there's no other example where the quest for knowledge would lead to a discovery so huge in potential and yet so catastrophic that in a blink of an eye, if it all goes wrong, could collapse the known universe and erase all of existence. Think about that for a moment. So what is our fate for the pursuit of this knowledge at its fullest extent? This supremely powerful machine that's capable of piercing the very fabric of the universe, which may end up in causing our destruction. Well, I've contemplated this. It's a really big idea. And there may be something even bigger to contemplate behind the curtain. Let me get to that now. Assume that the universe is teeming with life that forces that created our world and the ever-evolving consciousness we experience on planet Earth has a zillion other consciousness-evolving experiments going on throughout the billions of galaxies spread across time and space. You think for one second that a race of beings evolved millions of years ahead of us would allow talking monkeys to extinguish the universe with their cool science project? I don't think so. It's not just Earth and all its precious inhabitants that are at stake here. The unseen hands, guardians of the universe, overseers, or whatever you want to call them, most certainly will not allow the children of Earth to play with such fire without some oversight. That's my take on it. We humans are interesting and curious creatures. Our tendency is to push the envelope on everything we do to its very limits to drive things to the brink before we learn and grow. A lot of hard lessons we seem to have to relearn over and over again. But this time it's different. The ramifications are too great for a do-over. Yet I'm comforted with the belief that there are unseen hands that will guide us forward. Remember the movie Contact with Jodie Foster that came out in the late 90s? where an alien race provides instructions to build a device that's able to take a human passenger to a distant part of the universe via a transport system of wormholes. When the Jodie Foster character arrives at her destination on the new world, perhaps thousands of light years from Earth, she's greeted by an entity who takes the form of her deceased father. And he, or it, recreates a childhood memory of a lovely beach scene in Pensacola, Florida, where they can meet and converse. In the sequence, Jodie Foster asks her dad about this amazing transport system of wormholes, and if he, meaning his race of beings, constructed it. 
the alien in the form of the dad answers, no, we didn't make it, and we don't know who did. It's always been here for millions of years, and races like yours evolve and they come. She wants to know more, and he goes on to say, this is only your first visit, and in time, when you're ready, you'll come back. The sequence ends with him saying, this is how it always is with us all. All the races in the universe take steps, make small moves, evolve, and find their way. Small moves. This is how it is. Even with the biggest project ever attempted on Earth, we take small steps, we learn, we gain knowledge, and we evolve to the next level. So I toss the question back to you. What do you think? Do you think the God particle will lead us to the end of existence? Or is it the beginning of a new era of possibilities for our species?